Yes, I checking. A very long super grapple stage. Really want to focus on the race. Uh, so, first World Cup of the season. We are in Finale Ligure and uh, just had the rollout. Now we're heading up to stage one. First stage will be shuttle. So we got a shuttle all the way up to the NATO base. And after that, it's pedaling for the rest of the day. Um, so because I can't run the GoPro during the race, I'm gonna use the, Go the footage from yesterday as uh, the GoPro clips. And um, um, that way I can still make a vlog of the race. And I'm just gonna give updates through the race. So stick along and uh, ready for stage one. It's, it's the visor. Yes, I'm checking. If you can... Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. I, no problem. I yeah, all good. So guys, um, unfortunately I didn't get to film uh, after this to give any updates of the race uh, but I did still want to make a video so I thought maybe like this I can still make a video and give you all the insights of the race uh, and tell them in a proper and uh, informative way as well. Um, so unfortunately due to the very short liaison times I barely made it for stage 1 even though, even though that was a shuttle 1 barely made it for stage two and then after that i i just forgot to make any videos uh to give an insight of the race um but we'll do um we'll do that now so the first stage was pretty good um i was 29th on that stage and uh, it was the yeah it was a pretty good start um quite physical to start start off with um like just very punchy and straight out of the gate um but a good start and um yeah after this uh we went back up and we did uh engineer and um yeah that's the run you're gonna see now tristan tristan okay 67 good yeah thank you
Engineera was stage two. This is the one I barely made. I had like one and a half minutes um, to finish, to start the, 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 the stage and to finish off putting my clothes on and everything because I took my jersey off and stuff like that, which was uh, quite hectic and definitely not the best way to start a stage. Um, it was like 11 or 12 minute stage, um, quite physical in the middle. And I started with like 160, you know, 165, 170 heart rate already. So it basically could only go up. Um, so it was not the greatest start. Also not the greatest result. Um, so that was that. Um, even though the result wasn't great, the I really enjoyed the stage and I thought I rolled quite well. At the top bit, at the bottom, I, I lost a bit of time, I would say, because um, I was, it was just getting... I was just be, being a bit messy, you know. But all in all, um, it was good. Good um, second stage uh, results wise, not the greatest, but riding wise, I felt like it was good. All good. Yes. After the second stage, we went up and pedaled all the way up to Super Groppo, which was the longest stage of the race. Not sure how long it was, but it must have been either between 10 minutes and 50 minutes. And it was a really flat trail with not that much um, technical bits in it. Um, so it was a lot of pedaling. Um, it had like two or three climbs. Um, and yeah, it was quite physical for me, especially after basically going all all the way in the red zone before even the second stage and then to to recover after that and then go for this long stage uh was not the greatest uh was a bit messy um but that's racing um i still tried my hardest um i felt like in the race i paced it quite well um in the practice you can see that maybe i was pushing a little bit too hard um i'm still a bit of a rookie to this enduro thing so i'm still learning every race um this was definitely one of the things that i've learned to take a bit easier um, especially because we have practice day on friday and then we're racing on saturday so we don't have any rest day anymore between the practice and the race um so it's very important to not overdo it in the practice that's maybe a little bit what i've did on 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 this round um but yeah we're learning every time and um, we're trying to change or I'm trying to change myself and the way I train uh, every time a little bit and refine it a little bit because, yeah, if you don't make any changes, um, yeah, you basically will, do, will have the same results. So um, trying to make some changes to, 
to get better. But all in all, um, pretty good. On stage one, I got 29th place. Stage two, 45th. And then same on the very long Super Grupo stage, I got 45th as well. Um, after this, uh, we raced stage four, which was a bit of a technical stage with some rock slab and um, technical bits in it at the top. Uh, unfortunately, I think in the race, a under 21 female rider crashed just after we uh, finished um, because they do a bit of an interesting way of um, making the last like top riders go at last. So because I'm not on the top 30 yet, I was starting in front. Um, due to this, um, they eventually took out this stage because the top riders uh, couldn't finish or couldn't race it because um, the this female rider must have get evacuated from the trail and it probably took some time. Um, so I won't put that one in. It was a very cool trail to be honest. But um, yeah, I wasn't in the race, so it's not really makes sense to put it in um, this video. Also, I don't really know the result. I fell at the end on that one, so it was a bit messy in general. Um, so we go straight into the last stage, which was DH Man, um, very famous trail. Um, and I reckon the people who ever went to Finale must have ridden that one. Somehow I never ridden that one when I was in Finale and I've been in Finale for two times and over, I don't know how many weeks that was, but it's a bit out of the way and somehow never ridden it, which maybe was not the greatest for me um, because I think a lot of the riders have ridden it before in the past. Um, so it wasn't my greatest um, um, stage either. Actually, my slowest looking at the time, I was 51st on that one. Um, which, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I think it was just a bit messy overall the day. Um, but he has the, it's the last stage. Uh, 100 degree turn. Like yeah. Section. Good. I'll just have a look then. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> That's the video wrapped up. Hope you guys still enjoyed um, me telling about how the race went and giving you some insights in liaison times, my results uh, per stage and a bit of what the, the stages felt like as a rider. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Lee also comment below um, with your thoughts with what you think is cool. Um, like like this where I give a bit more information than I usually would do um, as as I would be racing because uh, I of course really want to focus on the race 
Um, but let me know. Or if you like it more like the one I did in Poland um, from Bielsko Biala, where I actually filmed in between the stages. So let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching for sure. And um, yeah, um, we'll, see, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.